daw silang kuryente today. No? Uh, I don't know for the others, but it's okay. 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 So let's begin. Uh, let's continue rather our discussion on electrochemistry. So last time we were able to have an idea what is electrochemistry and we take a look into the concept of oxidation numbers bucket no because in electrochemistry we realize that the oxidation number of atoms changes during electrochemical reaction no bakit nga ba nagbabago yung oxidation number because it involves transfer of electrons eh. so ibig sabihin if the atom loses or gains electron ibig sabihin noon magbabago talaga yung oxidation number okay Magbabago ang oxidation number. So, yan. That's important. No? Oxidation number is an important idea sa electrochem. And also, uh, we proceed with the balancing of uh, redox reaction last time. No? So, as you can see, uh, balancing redox reaction is quite different with the typical balancing process. No? Medyo different siya kasi it involves extra steps, no? Sometimes we need to add atoms, and sometimes we need to add water molecules, H+, plus, no? and we add electrons then. No? So, yeah. so what can we say is that yung balancing, medyo mahirap siya at first. However, once you get used to it, madali na lang. Okay? So, uh, last time I gave you an assignment. Uh, I hope you work on these two items, this one and this one. Okay? So, sana trainayin nyo yan, no? Because ngayon, sasagutan ko siya, okay? Before we proceed with the next part of our discussion, okay? So, a first step, again, as usual, you split the equation into two half equations, okay? We call them half equations. Ang technique dito is, um, kung sino yung may similar atom, yun yung pagsasamahin mo, Okay? So, obviously, we can split this as CR2, O7 minus 2, then CR3 plus. And then the other half equation would look like this. Yeah. So, the other equation will look like this, I minus to I2. Okay? So, as of now, I still don't know kung sino yung, ano, kung sino yung oxidation dito, sino yung reduction. Okay? So, I have to continue, no? Uh, balancing this para mas makita ko. Although, you can, ano, you can do the oxidation numbers para mas madali yung pag-identify ng oxidation, reduction. Pero, since our goal is to balance, then proceed ka lang, okay? May kita mo naman in the end kung sino yung oxidation, sino yung reduction, okay? So, let me begin with the first half equation, yung kay chromium. Okay. So, on the left side, we have Cr2O7. On the right side, we have Cr only. Ang second rule natin in balancing redox reaction is that after you split the equation into two half equations, you have to balance the unique atoms first. No? Unique atom, then oxygen, then hydrogen. Ganun yung technique. No? Unique, then oxygen, then hydrogen. So, pag sinabing unique, kahit yun yung ibang atom other than oxygen and hydrogen. For example, nitrogen, chromium, no? So, sila muna ibabalance mo. Okay? So, yan. So, obviously, in the first half equation, hindi balance yung chromium kasi dalawa on the left side, isa on the right side. So, I have to balance that, no? So, I can balance it by adding a coefficient to sa chromium. Okay? Huwag nyo nga kalimutan yan kasi yung ibang students kinakalimutan yung chromium. Huwag na kasi mamamali ka sa electrons in the end pag kinalimutan mo yung 2 kay chromium. Then, so, balance na yung chromium natin and after af after yung unique atoms, ang susunod ay yung oxygens. No? Oxygen tayo. We have 7 oxygens on the left, none on the right. No? So, in order to balance the oxygen, so, in order to balance the oxygen, what we need to do is to add water, di ba? So, we add water para siya ay, ano, ano ming ming, para siya ay mabalance yung oxygen. Kulit-kulit eh. <laughs> so, yan, we add water to the right side kasi yun yung walang water eh. Ay, yung walang oxygen rather. Okay? So, 7 yung oxygen sa left side, that means we have to add 7 water sa right side na. 
seven H two O. Okay, so yeah, so dalawa yung chromium, seven na yung oxygens, then after that hydrogen. Okay, so on the right side we have fourteen hydrogens. Take note that seven times two fourteen. Okay. So, 14 yung nasa right side na hydrogen. So, to balance that, we add H plus sa left side. Okay? So, ilang H plus ilalagay ko? Uh, edi 14. Okay? 14 H plus. Okay? So, it seems na balance na yung atoms natin. So, we have 2 chromiums on both sides, 7 oxygens on both sides, and 14 H on both sides. After none, we can balance the charges. Okay? So, charges naman tayo. So, again, coefficient times the charge to get the total charge. No? So, this is 14 times positive 1 plus 1 times negative 2. Okay? So, again, uh, pakita natin. This is 14 times positive 1, 1 times negative 2. So, ano total niyan? Adi positive 12. Okay? Say 14 minus 2, 12. Okay? Positive 12 yan. So, on the right side, we do the same to get the total charge. So, that is 2 times 3, positive 3, plus 7 times 0. Uh, again, kapag wala nakalagay sa top right, ibig sabihin, 0 yung charge nun. Okay? So, wala namang tubig na may kuryente. <laughs> Pag may charge yung water, mo kuryente ka, no? Pero apparently, hindi ganun. Okay? So, yan. so, 0 yung charge niya. So, this is 2 times 3, 6. Okay? Uh, so, 6 lang. Positive 6. So, you have 12 on the left side. Positive 6 on the right side. And sabi natin last time, we add electron to the side with the highest charge. No? So, the side with the highest charge is yung left side. Kasi 12 yun eh. Mas malaki yung 12 kaysa 6. So, dito tayo maglalagay ng electron. Plus electron. Ayan. Kaso, ilan? Okay? Ilan? Just enough number of electron to make the charge equal to the other side. No? We add the electron enough no, to bring down this 12 to 6. No? Kailan ibaba natin doon 12 to 6 para pantay sila in terms of charge. So, ilang electrons yun? E di anim. No? Okay? So, ang teknik ko nga sa inyo dito, highest charge minus lowest charge. No? Para malaman mo kung ilang electron kailangan mo. Okay, so 12 minus 6 is 6 now. Okay, so yan. So it seems that our first half equation is balanced. We have 2 chromium, 7 oxygens, 14 H plus, and then 6 electrons to balance out all the charges now. Okay. So let's proceed with the next one, I minus to I2. So again, balance the atoms now. Okay, so dalawa iodine on the right, isa sa left, so you add 2. Yan, so may 2 ka dyan. And wala ng oxygen and hydrogen. No? Ibig sabihin, you proceed with step 3, balancing the charges. No? So to balance the charge, um, dito sa left side, we have 2 times negative 1. And on the right side, we have 1 times 0. Okay, o, ito tanong, sino mas malaki yung charge, negative 2 o 0? Sige, o, kayo sumagot. Aling side dyan yung mas mataas yung charge? Negative 2 o 0? Kasi minsan may nalilito dito eh. Okay. O, ang sagot natin ay, wait lang, open ko lang yung convo. Yung 0. <laughs> so, always think of the number line, no? Basta negative, no? Mababa yun. Negative followed by 0, then positives, no? Kasi may mga students na iniisip nila, kapag zero yan, wala yan. No? And mas mataas pa rin yan kaysa sa negative 2. Okay? So, keep that in mind. No? In the porket zero yan, eh, ibabali wala na lang. Okay? So, so ibig sabihin, uh, zero is the highest charge, negative 2 is the lowest. No? So, we add electron to the side with the highest charge, which is the right side. Ilang electron, sabi ko nga sa inyo, high charge minus low charge, no? So, 0 minus negative 2, so that is the same as 0 plus 2. Hindi, 2 electrons ang kailangan mo. Okay? So, ayun. Easy. Okay? 
Then after you balance the half equation, the fourth step is to combine them. Okay. So, but before you combine them, ano yung sabi sa inyo? You make sure that the electrons are balanced, no? So, what's the LCM of 6 and 2? Eh, di 6, di ba? <laughs> okay. So, ang LCM ng 6 and 2 ay 6 pa rin. Okay. So, ibig sabihin, you have to make the second equation, yung coefficient ng electron, dapat maging 6 yan. How? You multiply the entire equation by 3. And that's okay. Okay? So, you have to multiply this by 3. Kasi ang LCM ng 2 pati 6 ay 6, di ba? Okay. So, yun. Kailangan maging 6 yung electrons natin. So, if you multiply 3 dun sa second equation natin, so that's 3 times 2, magiging 6 na to. Okay? Then ito magiging 3. Then ito ay magiging 6, no? Yan. So, 6 electrons here. 6, elect uh, six electrons there. So, you can combine them na. Okay? Pwede mo na ipagsama. Uh, by the way, before we proceed, uh, sabi ko sa inyo, pag nasa left side ang electron, that's reduction, reduction to. And kapag nasa right side ang electron, yun ay oxidation, losing electron. Okay? So, as you balance them, you can uh, eventually see kung sino yung reduction, sino yung oxidation. And always take note na hindi pwede parehas yan reduction. Hindi rin pwede parehas yan na oxidation. Bawal yun, ha? Kailangan there is one reduction, one is there is one oxidation. Kaya nga redox, no? Tig-isa sila. Hindi pwede parehas sila. Same. Okay? So, yan. Uh, we balance the equation already. Then, we can combine them, no? So, in combining them, madali na lang. Kopyahin mo lahat. Okay. Oh. 6 electron, 14H plus, CR2O7 minus 2, 6I minus. And on the right side, I have 2CR3 plus, 7H2O, 3I2, and then I have 6 electrons. Okay? And then you can cancel similar terms, which is the electron. Okay. Yun yung purpose. Bakit natin kailangan pagparehasin yung electron? Okay? Para makancel out sila. So, the final equation is this one. 14H plus Cr2O7 minus 2 6I minus 2Cr3 plus 7H2O 3I2. So that is the final equation and I hope you got the same answer. You can recheck the number of atoms, no? Just to make sure. Uh, you have 14H, okay? 2 na CR, 7 na oxygen, uh, 6 na iodine, okay? And in terms of charges, so this is 14 times 1, 1 times negative 2, 6, minus, 6 times negative 1, so ilan yon? 14 minus 2, 12 minus 6. Uh, 12 minus 6, that is 6. No? On the right side, 2 times 3, 6. 0, then 0. Okay? So, para as positive 6 yung charge on both sides. Okay? So, ganun lang. Easy, di ba? However, may ninote ako dun sa PowerPoint natin. Okay? May ninote ako dito. Sabi ko dyan, if you want an equation in the basic media, add enough OH in the final equation equal to the number of H+. Plus. Now, what is a basic media? When you say basic media, it basically means that hydroxide yung nasa solution. Ano ba itong sagot natin? <laughs> itong sagot natin ay acidic media. Acidic. Ano ba meron sa isang acidic solution? Eh, H plus, di ba? Remember your pH, no? Okay. Kapag may acidic tayo na solution, ibig sabihin, may H plus, okay? May H plus tayo, okay? So, to make that basic, kailangan mawala yung H plus, okay? So, kailangan mawala yung H plus. So, let me rewrite the entire equation muna because I will need more space. <laughs> Burahin ko lang to. Pero I hope you got the same answer. If you have question, please do not hesitate to ask. You know? Kasi pag hindi kayo marunong mag-balance, mahirapan kayo in the end. No? 
cascading to eh. Wala, ano nangyari? Ano ba yan? Ah, nawala tuloy. <laughs> wait lang, wait lang. Restart ko lang ito. Ano ba yung napindot ko? Hindi ko alam yung napindot ko. Anyway, so wait lang natin. Not that. Ito, ito, ito. Yan. Sana full screen. Ayan, full screen. Okay. Um, naalala ko pa ba yung sagot? Wait lang ha. Uh, let me know kung may mali. 14H plus CR207 tapos 6I minus CR3 plus uh, 6I2 tapos water na 7. Tama ba? Na, take nyo ba yung notes kanina? Sir, 2CR po ata yun. Ay, oh, sorry. Ayan. Tama na yun nasa notes. Kung, di ko lang kung tama pagkaalala ko. Pero tignan ko lang kung balance. 14, 2, 7, 6. 14, minus 2, 12, minus 6, at 6. 6. Okay. So, yan. Balance na yan. <laughs> uh, yan. Anyway, let's proceed. No? Sabi ko nga sa inyo, uh, kapag may H+, plus, acidic yan. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, this equation is acidic. No? Ganun yan. Acidic yan. Basta may H+, plus, again, acidic. Okay? Ibig sabihin, maasim yan. <laughs> Pero hindi yan tinitikman. No? Acidic yan, no? Um, pag hinawa ka mo yung solution na yan, delikado. <laughs> Tsaka, yun. May chromium yan. Pwede ka magka-cancer dyan. Okay? So, anyway. So, sabi ko nga sa inyo, pag may H plus acidic, eh, pa, what if gusto ko basic? Sige. Kunwari, gusto ko basic. Ano gagawin ko? Kailangan mawala yung H plus. Paano? O sabi dun sa slide natin kanina, you add enough OH no, equal to the H plus. Ibig sabihin, kung may 14 ako na H+, kailangan ko ng 14 OH down na idadagdag sa equation para maging, ano yan, para maging uh, basic. Ano, ano ba nangyayari sa H+, pati OH, no? Okay. Uh, let's recall uh, your, ano, let's recall your Gen Chem. O, so ano sabi sa Gen Chem? Neutralization reaction. Hopefully, naalala nyo pa ito, ha? Ano sabi sa neutralization reaction? Yung H+, plus, it will react with OH to produce water. Okay? So, your H+, plus, uh, H plus will need to react with hydroxide to produce water. No? Yan. So, H+, plus, plus OH, producing water. So, mapapansin nyo, yung ratio nila ay same, no? So, kung isang H+, plus, isang OH ang kailangan. So, ibig sabihin, if I have 14 H+, plus, so, if I have 14 na H+, plus, I need 14 OH then And when you combine them, you will form 14 water. Okay? So, yun yung idea dito sa neutralization reaction. One to one yung ratio nila. So, kung may isang ang H+, plus, kailangan may isang kang OH+. Eh, 14 yung meron ako. So, ibig sabihin, kailangan ko na din ng 14 na OH. And pag pinagsama ko yung dalawa, it will produce 14 H2O. Okay? So, ngayon, oh, paano ko isusulat yan sa equation ko? Ganito lang, easy lang. Uh, ganito, oh, kopihin mo muna ulit. 14 H plus CR2 o 7 minus 2 6 I minus Okay, so yan, nakakopya ko na. Ano na gagawin ko? When we say add enough OH, no? Sa both sides yon, okay? Hindi lang sa left side, kailangan sa both sides. Okay. So gagawin mo, kung gagawin mo tong basic, mag-add ka ng OH sa left side and sa right side, no? 
para meron tayong equality pa rin. Di ba parang algebra lang, no? Pag nag-add ka sa left side, kailangan mag-add ka rin sa right side. So that pwede mo pa rin sila i-cancel. Di ba? Pag nagmamanipulate tayo ng algebraic expression, ganun. So ganito din dito, ha? You treat this as, al, ano, you treat this as algebraic expressions, no? So kung ano in mo sa kabila, ganun din i-add mo sa kabila. Para same pa rin. Okay? So sabi natin, isang o, Isang H plus, isang OH ang kailangan. Eh, sabi ko nga kanina rin, no? 14 yung meron tayong H plus. Eh. So, ibig sabihin, 14 na OH din kailangan natin ilagay. Okay? So, both sides yan, ha? Both sides. Then, ano sabi ko? Ang sabi ko rin kanina, yung H plus, pati OH minus, nagpaproduce yan ng tubig. Okay? Kaya neutralization reaction tawag yan. It will produce water. Okay? So, 14H plus 14OH minus, it will give us 14 water. Okay? Pagsasamahin mo lang sila. 14H2O. And then, you copy the rest. So, ganun lang. Pagsamahin mo lang H plus OH, kailangan same sila. Okay? And they will produce the same amount of H2O. Okay? So, ganun lang. Then, ano pa susunod na gagawin? No? Cancel the similar terms. This time, water yung similar. You have 7 on the right side, 14 on the left side. Mag minus ka ng 7 doon, may matitirang 7. So, the final equation will become 7H2O. CR2, O7, minus 2, 6I minus, 2CR3 plus, 6I2, 14OH minus. Okay? So, parang ano lang din to, no? Parang yung equation lang kanina. Okay? Parang equation lang din kanina. Kanina, nasa left side yung H plus, nasa right side ngayon yung H, OH, no? Mapansin mo, 14 yun, 14 din yun. Tapos yung water, parang nagkabaliktad, no? 7 kanina dito, pagdating dito, nandito na siya. Okay? But it doesn't necessarily mean na kung 7 yun, dapat 7 din to, no? No. no. Kasi may cases na hindi ganun. Okay? Basta mapapansin mo lang, kung nasa left side yung H+, mapupunta sa right side yung OH, no? Then water yun nasa left. Magsiswitch sila ng position. Yung water nasa right, ngayon, yung water nasa left. Kung nara, no? nasa left yung water, di mapupunta siya sa right side. No? So, parang yun lang yung mga ano, pantingin kung tama yung ginawa mo. Okay? So, so, this is the acidic equation. This is the basic equation. Mabansin mo, basic lang. No? Dali lang. You just add o, uh, you just add OH. No? Okay? So, ganun lang. Uh, katulad nga sinabi ko sa inyo, balancing uh, redox reaction is quite different with the other techniques we learned in GenChem. However, um, malaking, ano to, malaking bagay. No? Kasi if you don't, uh, if you can't do this, then hindi ka makagawa ng battery. No? But, as, but as engineers, syempre ang major goal natin is to, kayo pala, no? ang main goal nyo is to, uh, find ways no, to save energy, to store energy, para hindi sayang. Ano pa yung kailangan ko i-share sa inyo? O ito, malalaman mo kung tama yung equation mo kapag ganito. Kunwari, may H plus ka sa left, sa right side yung water. Hindi pwede mawala yung water. Okay? So, pag nasa left yung H plus, nasa right side yung water. Pag nasa right yung H plus, nasa left side yung water. Ayun lang yung mga i-share ko. Kasi kunwari, nakita mo sa binabalance mo, nasa left side yung H+, plus, nasa left side din yung water, mali ka. Okay? So, yun yung mga napansin ko. Pag parehas nasa left side yung H+, plus, pati yung H2O, mali yun. Kaya parehas sila nasa right side. No? Mali yun. Kailangan, kailangan magkasaliwaan sila. Kung meron sa left, meron sa right. No? So, ganun din sa ano, ganun din kapag basic equation. No? So, kunwari, nasa right side yung OH, kailangan sa left side merong H2O. 
and vice versa. Hindi pwede parehas sila nasa left, hindi rin pwede parehas silang nasa right. Okay? So, yun lang. Um, yun yung mga techniques, uh, mga tips ko lang, no? Para malaman mo kung tama yung ginagawa mo. Pag napansin mo, nagbabalance ka, tapos yung water, pati H+, o kaya yung OH, nasa same side, may mali doon sa steps mo. Okay? May mali doon. So, tignan mo ulit. Baka nagkamali ka ng cancellation, na So, ganun. Uh, be careful na lang. Okay? Kasi maling cancel mo lang, mali na agad yung sagot mo dito. Okay? So, yan. Uh, let's proceed with the next one. Uh, pinasagutan ko rin to sa inyo, no? Hopefully, sinagutan nyo. Pero ako na muna magsasagot kasi I assume na hindi nyo sinagutan. Okay? <laughs> so, ako muna. Okay, so again, first step, split the equation into two half equations. Ayaw gumana ng ball pen ko. Wait lang. Ayaw gumana ng ball pen. Ayan. Nakay na siya ulit. Okay. So, let me split the equation into two half equations. So, that is MN04, MN02, and then we have C2, O4, and we have CO3, negative 2. Okay. Uh, those are your half equations. Uh, teka lang, paghiwaling ko lang on them. Masyadong mag magkadikit eh. Okay. So, yan yung half equation. Oh, balance natin. O, oh, yun na sa taas muna. So, balance the unique atom. In this case, na, uh, manganese. Okay. So, isang manganese on the left, isa sa right. No problema. <laughs> Wala na tayong problema. Okay. So, sunod oxygen. I have four oxygens on the left, two oxygens on the right. Ibig sabihin, kailangan ko pa ng dalawang oxygen. Okay, so I need two more oxygen in the form of water. Okay, so ganun lang. Again, hindi 4H2O ilalagay mo ha. Kasi may oxygen na dun, no? Huwag mo kalimutan yun. Baka kasi ginagawa nyo, ay, ito ano, 4 to. So, ibig sabihin 4 water, then no, no, no. <laughs> Baka kasi ganun ganun isip nyo. Meron na kasing oxygen dito. Ayun o. So, kailangan. Kung ilan na lang yung kailangan, yun yung ilagay mo. Okay? Huwag sobra-sobra. Okay? So, ayan. So, isang MN, apat na oxygen sa left, apat na rin yung oxygen sa right. Dalawa, two times two. Dalawa din, so four. Okay? So, again, di, hindi gagawin yan four na H2. Ah. Mali yan. Okay? So, yan. Balance na yung ating manganese, oxygen, Hydrogen naman. So, apat on the left side, on the right side, kailangan may apat in the form of H+. Okay? And then, balance na ba yung atoms? Yes. Isang Mn, apat na oxygen, four na H+. O, charge na lang. Oh. On the left side, what is the total charge? Four times positive one, one times negative one. Uh, 4 minus 1 is positive 3. On the right side, ilan yung charge? No? So, 1 times 0, 2 times 0, edi, 0. Okay? Walang charge sa right side. Sa left side, positive 3 yung total. So, again, which is the highest charge? Obviously, yung positive, no? So, ibig sabihin, sa left side ako maglalagay ng electron. Ilan? Edi, tatlo. Okay? I will add three electrons on the left so that I can bring down the charge to zero. Okay? So, yeah. so balance na siya in terms of atom and the charges. Okay? Uh, balance na yan. Okay. Uh, next one. C2O4, oxalate, producing carbonate. Okay. Uh, balance the unique atoms first. 
Okay? Unique atoms first. Ito yung carbon. Okay? So, pag sinabi kong unique, ha, take note again. Ano yun? That is any other atom than oxygen and hydrogen. Okay? I mean, it could be carbon, nitrogen, phosphorus, sulfur, so on and so forth. No? Basta wag yung oxygen and hydrogen. Kasi special yung step sa kanila. Okay? So for oxalate, dalawa yung carbon sa left, isa sa right. So lagay ka efficient na 2. Yan. So, yan. so two carbons on the left, two carbons on the right. How about oxygen? So on the left side, apat. Apat siya, no? On the right side, 3 times 2. Okay? So, this times this. Uh, 2 times 3, 6. Eh, meron ka na apat sa left. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, kailangan mo pa ng dalawa. Okay? Ganun. So, kailangan mo pa ng dalawa in the form of water. So, C2O4, dalawang carbonate. Okay. So, tignan natin uli. Dalawang carbon. Apat na oxygen dito. Plus 2. So, anim. So, ito, tatlong oxygen times 2. Anim din. Okay. So, balance na yung oxygen. Again, baka iniisip nyo, ha? Oy, sir, 3 yung, ox uh, three yung oxygen dyan. So, dapat 6 to. I mean, 6 yung oxygen dito. Dapat 6 yung water. No. Kasi meron ka na doon oxygen eh. Magtatampo yan. Pag nagtampo yan, mali yung sagot mo. <laughs> eh. So, ganun ha. Ayan. So, ganun lang. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then, hydrogen. Hindi siya balance. So, 4 hydrogen dito sa right side. Wala. Okay. So, sa right side, wala tayong hydrogen. E di maglagay tayong hydrogen in the form of H+. plus. Then we check the charges. Um, verify natin kung tama na yung atoms. Ha? 2 carbon, uh, 4 plus 2, 6 oxygen, 4 na H. No? 6 oxygen, 4 na H. Oh, charges tayo, left side, 2 times 0, 0. 1 times negative 2, and then negative 2. 0 plus negative 2 is negative 2. On the right side, that's 2 times negative 2, and then negative 4 plus 4H plus the 4. So, 0 on the right side. Okay. O, sino mas mataas yung charge? 0 o negative 2? Ang sagot doon, yung 0. Okay. Again, always imagine of the number line. So, negatives first, followed by 0, and then positive numbers on the right. No? Mas mataas pa rin yung zero kaysa sa negative, ha? Keep that in mind. Okay? Kasi may mga nagkakamali doon, promise. <laughs> so, yan. Um, so, saan ako maglalagay ng electron? Eh, di sa right side, no? Kasi doon yung mataas yung charge. Ilan? Eh, di dalawa. So, that magiging negative to yung charges nila. Okay? Parehas na silang negative to. Okay, so I I was able to balance the equations. And as you can see, nasa left side yung electron dito, nasa right side yung electron doon. Ibig sabihin tama yung ginawa mo. Kasi kapag pareha silang nasa left side, mali yun. Pag pareha silang nasa right side, mali yun. Hindi naman to red, red or ox, ox, no? Redox, no? Ibig sabihin yung isa nasa left, yung isa nasa right yung electron. Redox. Okay? Hindi siya red-red, hindi rin siya ox-ox. No? Bawal yun. Okay. So, uh, as you can see, this is reduction. Kasi nasa left side yung electron. This is oxidation. Nasa right side yung electron. Okay? So, alam yun na meaning. Bakit nasa left? Bakit nasa right? No? So, yan. So, before we combine them, we have to make sure that the electrons are equal. Tatlo to, dalawa yun, hindi sila pantay. Get their LCM, which is 6. Okay? So, 6 yung LCM natin. So, meaning I have to modify this top equation and I have to modify this bottom equation as well. Okay? Modify natin yan by multiplying this by 2. Ito naman by 3. No? 
So, ito, ito times 2 ko siya. So, ano mangyari sa coefficient ko? This will become 6. This will become 4 times 2, 8. Ito may gin 2 yan. 2 din to. Ano na ito ay magiging 4. Well, the bottom equation has to be multiplied by 3 para maging 6 yung electron. So, itong 2 magiging 6. Ito magiging 3. Ito magiging 6. Ito magiging 4, 8, 12. Ito magiging 6. Oh, 2 times 3 is 6. Okay? Ayan. Oh, ginanong ko na lang ha para hindi ako gumastos ng maraming space. Ganun yung ko na lang. But you know the idea. Ito minultiply ko to by 2. E, yun yung mga bagong coefficient sa taas. Ito minultiply ko to by 3. Yun yung mga bagong coefficient sa taas. Okay? And then yung mga coefficient sa taas, yun yung gagamitin ko. Okay? O, pag sama-samahin na sila. Kasi pantay na yung electron, parehas na silang 6. No? Kapain ko lang. 6 electron. Tama ba? 6, 8, 2, 6, 3. Okay? Oh, right side naman tayo. Double check nyo parati ah. Baka kasi mamaya kulangin. Pag kinulang yan, mali tayo. Tignan natin, 2, 4, 6, 12, 6. 2, 4, 6, 12, then 6. Okay, so yan. Yan ang susunod. Cancel. Uh, cancel the similar terms, obviously. Electrons will be completely cancelled out kasi same sila. Ano susunod ng pwede i-cancel? Hydrogen. No? So I have 8 here sa left, 12 sa right na. So, yung cancel ko lahat ng 8, magma-minus 8 ako dito. 12 minus 8 is 4. Tama ba? 4. Yeah. Uh, how about water? Uh, water, ganun din. So, water, I have 6 here. I have 2 here. So, isubtract ko yung 4. Mangyayari, matitira dalawang water. Okay. Wala na sa right side, sa left side may sobra na dalawa. So, matitira pa rin yung water. Wala na. Okay. Naantok pa rin ako. Eh, ito yung isa palang mga side effect niya ng vaccine. No? Sorry, sa mga bagong dating nagpa-Sinovac ako kahapon. Akala ko AstraZeneca eh. Kasi yun yung pinupost nila sa Facebook. Tapos pagdating namin doon, Sinovac po. Kami na pag ano kami. Ala, Sinovac daw. <laughs> Kasi mga, uh, ano, hindi, hindi ko kakalala na sa pila, pero nagka-bulong-bulongan kami. Wala, sino bak daw? Pero tinuloy pa rin namin. Kasi sabi nga natin, kung magtatagal pa tayo, kung mag-aantay pa tayo ng pagkatagal-tagal, edi magto two years na tayo naka-lockdown. So to end everything, magpa-vaccinate na tayo kahit ano na lang available dyan. Okay? Tsaka so far, based on study sa India, uh, Indonesia rather, so, Indonesia, 92 to 98% effective na ang Sinovac sa second dose. Okay, so, hindi porket na turukan ka na run time, okay na yun. Dalawang turok dapat para safe, uh, para sure na effective na. Okay. Okay, so, ganun, na-share ko lang. Pag, again, kung mayroon na kayong vaccination sa LGU nyo, punta na kayo para naman makapag-face to face na tayo, namimiss ko na yung FEWA sa PUP. FEWA, submarine, ayun, nakakamiss eh. <laughs> Kasi di ko alam kung sa PUP pa rin ako next sem. <laughs> anyway, so 6 CO3 4H plus. Okay. Ayan, nakopya ko ba ng tama? 2, 3. Uh, check mo pa rin kung tama yung atom. Dalawang manganese, uh, apat na H, anim na carbon, then yung oxygen, 4 times 2, 8 plus 2, 
ten plus twelve cannot be. <laughs> so ano twenty four? Eh twenty two. Tama ba? Ano eight ten twelve? Maybe twenty two nga. So this is two times two four six twelve eighteen eighteen plus four. 22. Ay, ang galing, no? <laughs> Ayun, the balance na yung ating equation. Ayun, yun nga, sabi ko sa inyo, kapag nasa right side yung H+, plus, nasa left side yung water. Magkasaliwaan sila parate. Kasi kung mapansin mo, mamaya, nasa left side din yung H2O. Nasa left side din yung H+. Plus. Mali yun. Baka nagkamali ka dito sa cancellation. Ayun yung technique, ha? Kung may water ka sa left side, usually may H+, plus ka sa right side, or OH, no? So, always opposite sila. Kasi kapag parehas yan, sa isang side, may mali. No? Ayun yung aking ano, um, napansin. For years na ginagawa ko ito. Okay? So, this is acidic. Sabi ko sa inyo, acidic yan. Bakit siya naging acidic? Naging acidic yan kasi dahil sa H+. Okay. Basta may H plus yung equation mo, either left or right yan, acidic yan. Okay? So, that is an acidic equation. Uh, paano kapag basic gusto ko? Okay? Uh, sa mga bagong dating, naturo ko na yung basic, pero gag tuturo ko ulit. <laughs> para ano, para hindi tayo mapag-iwanan. Okay? Ibrahim ko lang, ayan. Ang kopyahin ko lang uli sa taas dahil um, kukulangin space ko. So, 2MnO4. Medyo masakit lalamunan ko. Pero hindi ito dahil sa vaccine. Kasi nagkain ako ng ice cream kagabi. Nag-toothbrush naman ako pero masakit pa rin. <laughs> Ayan. Tama ba copy ako? 2, 2, 3, 2, 6, 4. Ah, by the way, uh, so this is 2, negative 2, negative 8, negative 12, 8. Okay. So, Chineck ko lang yung charge uli. Balance naman. Okay. So, ayan yung ating equation. Sabi ko nga, acidic yan because of the H+. Plus, no? So, if I want that to be basic, ano sabi ko kanina? Sabi natin, uh, if you want the equation to be in basic media, you add OH equal to the H+. Plus. Okay? So, mag a ako ng OH equal to the H+. Plus. So, let me copy the equation again. Ito yung nakatamad dito. Paulit-ulit mong kukopihan yung equation. Kaya nga yung ating mga problem set sa word ko pinapa-edit sa inyo para copy-paste na lang pag uulitin yung equation. Hindi copy-paste ng ibang sagot ha. <laughs> Kasi ganun yung iba eh, napansin ko eh. Oh, so sabi ko, pag gusto mo to gawing basic, yung H+, inu-neutralize mo yan no? para maging water. Okay. Pero, kailangan mo ng OH equal to that, no? So, apat yung H plus ko. E di apat na OH din kailangan ko. Okay? So, again, kung ilang H plus kailangan mo, uh, kung ilang H plus meron ka, ganun din karami yung OH na kailangan mo. So, 4 H plus, meaning I need 4 OH. Both sides mo siya ilalagay. Okay? And sa mga bagong dating, ganyan yung ginawa namin kanina. Okay? So, kapag apat yung H+, plus, apat din na OH ang ilalagay mo, both sides, no? Para same pa rin yung equation. Okay? Parang algebra lang to, no? You add the same on both sides, then saka ka pwede mag-manipulate. Okay? Especially kapag, ano, completing the squares. Parang ganito yan, eh. Yan. Oh, what if, kunwari, tatlo yung H plus dito, edi tatlong OH din kailangan mo. So, you add 3 OH there, 3 OH there. But in our case, apat. Then, ano yung sabi ko kanina din? Sabi ko kanina sa kanila, yung H pati OH, they combine to form water. Neutralization reaction yun. 
So since apat yung kanilang coefficient, edi apat na water yung mapoproduce nila. Okay? So yun yung dahilan bakit kailangan same. Okay? Kasi kapag ano, hindi pantay yung H at OH, hindi complete yung reaction. Okay, let me copy everything which is nakakatamad gawin. Ayan. <laughs> so, 3C2O4. Okay. Ito yung ano, yung ano, yung ano, yung water na yun, ha? Kasi sabi ko nga, ang H, pati OH, magsasama to form water. Okay? So, we just combine them to produce the water na. Uh, ano susunod? Ang susunod ay cancel. No? May water ka sa left, may water ka sa right. Adi cancel mo yun, no? Cancel. So, I have 2 H2O on the left, on the right side. Apat. So, may sobrang dalawa. So, the final equation in basic media is 4 OH. 2 MnO4. 3 C2O4. 2 MnO2. 6 CO3 minus 2. 2H2O. Ayan. Ayan na yan. Again, no, take note. Sabi ko sa inyo, di ba, magkasaliwaan yung H or OH, pati water. So, kanina, sa acidic, nasa right side yung H+. Plus. Pag basic yan, nasa left side yung OH. <laughs> Mapapansin mo, nag-flip nag sila ng position. H plus yan, ngayon, OH na siya. Pero nasa opposite side. Ano pa? Yung water, pag sa acidic, nasa left, sa basic na sa right vice versa yon ako na ko pag acidic na sa right yung water dapat sa basic mo na sa left yung water yun yung mga tips ko sa inyo para malaman niyo kung tama yung ginagawa niyo pag na violate niyo kahit isa doon may mali okay so ako ganun na ako nung dati no don't worry nung college ako uh, yun nung college ako first year high school, uh, first year college no so, ganun din ako. Medyo nalilito pa ako kahit naturo na to sa amin nung senior high school. Ah, wala pala akong senior high school. Kahit naturo na sa amin to nung third year high school, no? 2013. Okay. So, tinuturo to sa amin nun. Mas nakakalimutan ko pa rin. Kasi di ko naman alam na magkikemistry kaya ako. Kaya okay lang, okay lang. Tapos yan. Uh, pagdating ng college, medyo... No, confused ako minsan. No? Sabi ko, wala, bakit ganun? Tapos yun, over time, na-develop ko yung mga ganung intuition na kapag yung OH na sa right, kailangan may something sa left, either H plus or OH. No? Kasi kung wala yun, baka may mali. Okay? Baka may mali. So, yun. So, once na mapansin mo yun, kunwari, nasa acidic ka pa lang, nas napansin mo, ay, parese lang nasa left side. Ulitin mo uli yung balancing mo. Okay? Baka nagkamali ka ng coefficient o kaya nagkamali ka ng cancellation. Sabi ko nga sa inyo, pag mali ka sa acidic, mali ka na rin sa basic. Okay? Uh, ano yan? Cascading yan eh. Maling cancellation sa una, mali na lahat ng sagot mo. Okay? So you have to be very careful. Ayan. So anyway, so that's the end for the balancing. No? Madali lang, no? So, ito yung slide na sinabi ko sa kanila para sa mga bagong dating. Ayan. Ito yung kasi nangyayari when you react H plus with the OH. No? They produce water. Ayan. Okay. So, anyway, uh, we will continue na. Okay. Again, marami pa tayong time kaya di tayo magmamadali. Okay. Wala naman tayong midterm. Di tulad ng iba dyan, nagpapamidterm kahit bawal. Okay. Ito, nakapi ko lang. Okay. So, anyway. So, sabi ko sa inyo, balik ulit tayo sa main topic, electrochemistry. ba? So, yung mga battery natin, it is composed of two electrodes, no? One electrode, andun yung uh, oxidation. Sa isang electrode, andun yung reduction. Pag pinag-connect mo yon using wire, yung dalawang electrodes na yun, makagawa ka ng battery. Okay? So, ganun yung nangyayari sa cellphone natin. O, itong cellphone ko na to, may malaking battery yan sa likod, no? Na mabilis malobat. <laughs> Kasi ay, pag iPhone, mabilis malobat. Nakakainis. <laughs> so, yan. May malaking battery yan na may dalawang electrodes. Sa isang side, may anode. 
Okay. Mamaya ko na sabihin yung anode cathode. So, sa isang side doon nangyari yung oxidation. Sa isang side doon nangyari yung reduction. So, ano alam natin sa oxidation? Yun yung naglalabas ng electron. So, ilalabas niya yung electron papunta sa circuitry na itong cellphone. Kaya gumagana siya. Kaya gumagana siya. Tapos, ano? Yung electron na yun, after nun mag-pass through sa circuitry na ito, pupunta siya sa reduction. Okay? So, may voltage kang mapoproduce as that happens. Okay? As the electron flows, voltage is produced. So, ganito yung, ano, ganito yung itsura nun kapag ginawa mo siya sa laboratory. Okay? Ayan. Ginawa namin to 2019 before pandemic. No? Mga student ko dito ay yung uh, MECENG. No? Ayan, sisaya kami. So, on the left side, we have this solution that produces the electrons. And we have here on the right side a solution and electrode no, that accepts that electron. Zoom in tayo. Tignan nyo yung voltmeter. Ito yung zero, di ba? Ito yung zero. Ayan. Asan yung dial? Asan yung marker? Ayun no, andito. Somewhere here. Okay. So, ibig sabihin, hindi joke time tong tinuturo ko. Kasi, pwede natin to gawin sa lab. Yun nga lang problema, wala tayo sa lab, no? Kaya visual visualize muna tayo. Okay? Pero sayang, ito yung favorite ko na experiment eh. Okay? <laughs> so, yun, no? Itong solution na to, itong electrode na to, it actually releases electron. Naglalabas yan ng electron, ta transfer yan dito. Okay? Pagdating dyan, iuurong niya yung dial, then pupunta yung electron dito naman, papunta sa side na to. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, totoo nung discussion natin. Dito, joke time, ha? Okay? So, hindi siya joke time. Okay? So, you can really produce batteries out of chemicals lang, no? Ang tawag natin sa mga cell, cell kasi yung tawag sa ating mga battery. Okay? So, ang tawag natin sa mga cell that produces voltage na positive, okay? Ang tawag natin doon ay galvanic cells. Okay? So, galvanic cell, yung mga cell or electrochemical cells with spontaneous reaction generating electrical current. No? So, ibig sabihin kapag galvanic or voltaic, uh, that is in uh, remembrance of Alessandro Volta, no? siya yung gumawa ng battery. <laughs> so, kapag positive yung voltage, Yan, or spontaneous yung reaction, we have uh, galvanic cell. No? It generates electric current and the reaction is spontaneous, men, meaning the delta G is less than zero or negative. No? Yan. So those are galvanic cell. Yun yung mga positive yung E-cell. So an example nun, cell phone batteries, battery ng lampshade ko, battery ng calculator, battery ng aking iPad na pinansusulatan, battery ng aking pencil, no? O yan, basta positive yung e-cell na produce ng kuryente, yun ay galvanic cell or voltaic cell. Okay? So, yun yung battery din dito sa aking ano, keyboard, kasi nasira yung adapter, kinagat ng pusa. Yan. So, yun yung mga galvanic cells. Otherwise, we have this thing called electrolytic cell. Okay? Electrolytic cell, ito naman yung mga cell that, that, ano, that is non-spontaneous. Ibig sabihin, negative yung voltage. No? Electrolytic cell. Negative yung voltage. Ano ini-imply kapag negative yung voltage? Ikaw yung magdadagdag ng kuryente. Okay. Kapag positive, siya yung magbibigay ng kuryente, yung cell mo. Pero kapag negative yung voltage, ibig sabihin, ikaw pa yung magbibigay ng kuryente para gumana siya. Ano example nun? Uh, ito, sa left side and right, itong dalawang to. Left side and the middle. Sa left side, pag-usapan natin to. Lapis yan, yes. Lapis yan. Pero yung lapis na yan, connected yan sa battery. Okay. Pwede nyo to gawin sa bahay no? kung meron kayong resources. Bili kayo ng 9-volt battery, yung square. Alligator clip dalawang alligator clip, isang red, isang black para hindi kayo malito. Tapos, 
yung pencil, yung carbon nun, pwede yan mag-transmit ng kuryente. Okay. Kaya nga ginagamit yung carbon sa kuryente din, mga carbon nanotubes na pwede sila mag-conduct ng kuryente. Okay. So, yun nasa lapis natin, pwede mag-conduct yun ng kuryente. So, ginawa namin dyan, sinave namin yung both ends ng lapis. So, tasahan mo yung isa, tasahan mo yung other side, tanggalin mo yung, ano, yung eraser. Then, once exposed na yung carbon, dun mo i-clip yung alligator clip. Okay. Na nakakonect sa kuryente. I don't have the complete picture eh. Pero, ayan. Tapos, ilublub mo yun sa tubig na may asin. Then, mapapansin mo, over time, magbababol yung water. Okay. What happens there is yung water ay uh, na e electrolyze no. Na kuryente yung tubig so nagiging hydrogen gas pati oxygen gas yan. Uh, that is non spontaneous reaction but when you add kuryente it will happen. Okay? So electrolytic cell yun. Kasi normally yung ating tubig di naman niya nagiging hydrogen gas oxygen gas, okay? That never happens normally. But if kinuryente mo yon, dun yun magiging ganun. Okay? Then siya magiging hydrogen gas and oxygen gas. So, to prove the validity of this experiment, ang ginawa namin ng student namin, uh, student ko, uh, after one hour, I think two hours ata, basta na kinum, pinuno namin tong, ano test tube na to na nakabaliktad. Punong-puno yan ng hydrogen gas, then yung isa oxygen gas. Okay. So, inintay namin mapuno yon. then ang ginawa ko, bago kami umuwi, kin tinakpan ko yung ano, test tube na yan, tapos niliyabang ko. Nagliyab talaga yung hydrogen gas. Ibig sabihin, totoo yung ginagawa namin. Hindi siya joke time. Okay. Sa akin lang, hindi ko magagawa sa bahay. Wala akong battery. <laughs> I mean, wala akong alligator clip. Siguro bili ako sa Shopee. <laughs> bili ako sa Shopee. Okay. Para ma-visualize nyo yung experiment. So, yun. Uh, Nagliyab talaga yung hydrogen gas. Medyo malaki. And natawa yung mga students ko nun. Parang ako nagmamagic. So, ibig sabihin, totoo yung ating discussion. <laughs> so, yan. That is electrolytic cell. Yung pag-split ng water into hydrogen and oxygen gas. Oh, itong nasa gitna naman, anong ganap ng experiment namin na to? This one is electroplating. Okay? Electroplating yan. Uh, isip kayo ng mga bagay na may electroplating. Uh, yung mga ano, pintuan. Uh, yung mga hawakan ng pintuan, no? Kaya yung mga lutuan na copper-plated. Okay. Yung iba, sinasabi, copper mask. Pero scam yun, ha? Uh, kwento ko mamaya bakit scam yun. <laughs> so anyway, oh, dito tayo. Uh, this is, ano, copper coating no? or copper plating. So, eto susi ko to sa dorm. Dati, nagdo-dorm ako. <laughs> kasi ito yung copper wire. This is copper solution. So, kapag nilublub mo kasi ito dito, hindi naman automatically maging copper coated yan, eh. Mababasa lang yung susi. Pero kung gusto mo makot siya ng copper, ang gagawin mo, kukuryentehin mo yun. Okay. So, yung non-spontaneous reaction mo, kailangan kuryentehin mo para mangyari. Okay. So, ganun ginawa namin. So, kinunek namin yun sa battery. Ito yung battery. Oh. And connected siya dito sa susi, pati sa copper wire. So, nangyari, instead na mabasa lang to, nangyari, yung mga ions dyan, dumikit dito. Naging solid sila. Ayan, pag ginila mo yan pataas, magiging ano yan, magiging ano yan, copper coated na. So, ganun yung ginagamit sa jewelry, no? sa mga cookware, copper coated na lutuan, uh, gold plated na jewel, jewelry, silver plated. No? So, ayan. Uh, Pag-usapan natin yung copper mask. No? So, ito, kung may gumagamit sa inyo, wag nyo na gamitin yan. Kasi joke time yan. Bakit? Okay. Uh, bilang chemist, alam ko to kasi study, study to ng mga kaibigan ko dati nung college thesis nila. Yes, totoo na ang copper, it can kill bacteria. Especially in its nano uh, nanomaterial form. No? Pag na, naka-nano form siya, maliliit na particles. Okay? Or solid particles. No? Okay. So, totoo yun. Copper can kill bacteria. Bacteria, hindi virus. Okay? Bacteria. I'm not really sure with the virus, no? Okay. So, ayan. Um, kailang kasi, ang requirement para makapatay siya ng bacteria, okay, is ito. Kailangan mataas yung purity niya. 
let's say 99%. Okay? So, ano ba yung mga 99% copper? Eh, di bakal. Okay? Bakal yung 99% copper or more. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, for copper mask to work, kailangan yung mask mo ay bakal. Kailangan isang buong bakal yung nasa mukha mo para mamatay yung germs dyan. Okay? Kaso hindi eh. Hindi naman bakal yun eh. At again, ang requirement para gumana yung mga copper no, to kill bacteria is kailangan bakal, in, nakabakal form siya. Okay? So, totoo yung mga nasa pintuan, yung mga copper coated na yun. Kasi bakal yun eh. It can really kill germs. no. Pero yung mask, hindi naman 100% bakal yun. No? So, hindi gagana yun. And another thing is may butas yun sa ilalim. Okay, remember, Brownian motion, yun yung nangyari sa small particles. Okay, so ibig sabihin, pwede, kahit, kahit takot yung harap mo, pero may butas sa ilalim, pwede yung pumasok sa ilalim because of Brownian motion. Okay, so yun. So ibig sabihin, nonsense gumamit nun. Ha? So kung may gumagamit sa inyo ng copper mask, itigil nyo na. Okay, mas lalo nyo lang, ano, uh, mas lalo nyo lang ginagawa yung sarili nyo na, ano, na prone to hazards. Okay? Uh, alam ko na kwento ko na to dati sa hazard discussion natin chapter 1. Pero ini inuulit ko uli no na huwag kayo gagamit ng copper mask. Okay? Kasi joke time 'yon. Marketing lang 'yan. Yes, totoo yung copper na kapatay ng germs, but it has to be in metallic form. 100 or 99% dapat na metal siya. Okay? Ayun, 4% lang ata. Eh, 4%, 1%, I don't know. Kulay copper lang siya. Maka mamaya, wala pang copper dun, no? So, ayan. Uh, you have to know that, no? Kasi, estudyante ko kayo. Ang mga estudyante ko, kung ano-ano talaga sinishare ko dun. Alam ni Franklin yan, di ba? <laughs> physical science, kasi uh, physical science nila ako, eh. Kung ano-ano ko na kwento ko na related sa topic, minsan hindi, no? Pero, ayan. So, sishare ko lang din sa inyo, ha? Kasi, uh, you really have to be cautious, no? Hindi lahat ng face mask ay kailangan gamitin. Okay? Kasi may mga peking marketing strategies dyan na nanlilin lang ng tao. So, wag tayo dun, ha? Ayun lang. I want you to be safe, no? Yes, medyo hindi aesthetic looking yung face mask natin. Pero may ibang color naman na nabibili, no? Ang gusto nyo, black. Okay, edi bumili kayo ng black na face mask, safe pa rin yun kaysa sa copper mask, no? Yung ibang tao kasi ginagawa lang yun for aesthetics, no? But again, uh, health is, ano, your utmost priority, not your looks, no? Pare-parehas tayong uh, pawisan dahil sa face shield, no? <laughs> Kaya, ano, wag nyo na, wag nyo na pahirapan sarili nyo lalo. Kasi maraming nagka-COVID din, ata dahil sa copper mask. I don't know. Pero yun. It, it creates false, ano, it creates false security kasi, no? Okay. So, yan lang. Okay. Share ko lang, ha? So, yan, para rin sa inyo yan. Kaya, totoo yung sinasabi ng doktor, no? Na nasa YouTube, si Adam ba yun? Na basta yun, yung binabash nila online. <laughs> Pero, totoo kasi yung sinasabi niyan. Doktor yun. Legit na doktor yun. Nag-aaral pa siya mag-Tagalog para lang ituruan tayong Filipinos. No? So, yun. Matuto tayo sa kanya. Kasi totoo yung sinasabi niya. And I can attest to that kasi ako ay isang chemist. No? I know the processes no? na nangyayari sa chemicals no? and sa ating body. Kaya yun, I can attest to that. No? Anyway, so yun lang ha. Sinasabi ko sa inyo. Uh, still, nire-relate ko yung topic natin sa pandemic kasi nga nasa pandemic tayo. Basta, ano lang, use the traditional face mask, okay? Yun na lang. Magkano lang naman yun sa bangketa, okay? So, ganun lang. So, support nyo na lang yung mga nasa bangketa kaysa sa mga mayayaman na marketing uh, uh, agents na magkakos ng harm lalo no? in selling copper mask, okay? So anyway, so let's go to electrochemical cell, okay? Going back to the topic, sabi ko nga sa inyo, di ba sa electrochemical cell, may dalawang electrode doon. Sa isang electrode, doon nangyayari yung oxidation reaction where the electrons are released. And sa isang electrode, doon nangyayari yung reduction reaction wherein yung electron doon na re-release, okay? So, 
ano tawag natin sa side ng battery or sa side ng cell kung saan naglalabas siya ng electron or sa, kung saan doon nangyari yung oxidation. Tawag natin doon ay anode. Okay? So, anode is the side, no? It is the electrode where the oxidation happens. Ibig sabihin, dito lumalabas yung electron sa anode. Sa so, napupunta? Dito doon sa reduction side, which we call the cathode. Okay? Cathode yung other side na yan. Okay? So, for us to memorize this, ito yung mnemonic natin. Oldsan Red Cat. No? Ayun, no? Pwede nyo uli ipangalan nyo sa mga magiging anak nyo in the future. No? <laughs> Bukod sa Leora Jerowa. Oh, ito naman, Oxan Red Cat. No? Oxan. No? Ayan. Pwede yan sa babae. Oxan. No? <laughs> Ewan ko sa inyo. Ako wala akong balak. Eh. <laughs> Ayun, kayo bahala in the future. So, Oxan Red Cat. Ano meaning yan? Oxidation. Anode. Okay? O red cut naman. Reduction. Cathode. Okay? So, important yung mga to ha? Mga mnemonic para mas madali makabesado. So, the oxidation side, tawag natin doon ay anode. Ang reduction side, tawag natin doon ay cathode. And we recall that oxidation, dito naglalabas ng electron. Reduction, dito tumatanggap ng electron. Okay? So, yan. So, ito yung ating electrochemical cell. Ito ay ang oxidation side or the anode. Ito yung reduction side or the cathode. No? Bakit ko nalaman? Kasi alam ko. <laughs> eh, uh, in the future, uh, mamaya-maya, discuss natin paano mo malalaman sino yung anode, sino yung cathode. Okay? So basta yung naglalabas ng electron, yun yung anode. Yung tumatanggap, yun yung cathode. Okay? So, yan. So in between them, mamabansin mo, meron akong tubo dito ng electrical wire. <laughs> okay? Ito yung wiring sa kuryente sa bahay, di ba? Ayan. Bumili ako niyan ng gabi sa UNITAP. Uh, yung mga nasa Santa Mesa, alam yan. Uh, nasa Asmin. <laughs> alam yung UNITAP. So, before the day before ginawa ko tong experiment na to, naghanap ako na itong wire na to, na tube na yan, ginawa ko yung salt bridge. No? Ano meron dyan sa loob niyan? Gelatin na may asin. <laughs> yan lang, salt bridge na yan. So, this is gelatin na may asin, salt bridge yan. And the salt bridge is a tube on the electrolyte, on, on an electrolyte in a gel that is connected to the two half cells of the voltaic cell. So, connected yung ating salt bridge to the anode and the cathode. Why? No. Bakit? Kasi ganito. Um, sabi natin, kapag ito naglulose ng electron, naging positive yung oxidation number ng atoms dito. Dito naman, nag-gain siya ng electron, ibig sabihin, nagiging negative yung, uh, negative yung um, oxidation number ng atoms dito. Okay? Ang problema kasi, kapag hindi mo ni-neutralize yung charge na yon, hindi mo pinantay yung charges na yon, hihinto yung reaction. No? Ibig sabihin, kapag walang salt bridge, dito gagana. So, there has to be a salt bridge no? to maintain electrical neutrality. So, yun yung purpose ng salt bridge. It maintains the neutrality of ions. Okay. Salt bridge allows the flow of ions but prevents the mixing, blah, blah, blah. Anyway. So, yun yung goal natin sa salt bridge. To maintain electrical neutrality. Okay. So, yun ang nangyayari. Sabi ko nga sa inyo, dito nagiging positive. Dito nagiging negative. Yung asin sa loob nito, yun yung magka-counterbalance. Okay. Asin yung nandyan sa loob ng ano, salt bridge. So, yun yung magka-counterbalance so that the reaction will proceed. Merong ganyan yung batteries natin. Okay? Pero hindi ko bubuksan yung battery kasi delikado yung chemical sa loob nun. Okay? Huwag nyo gagawin yan. Pero may ganun yan. <laughs> okay? So, there is a salt bridge inside it. Even yung battery sa cellphone. Pero huwag nyo bubuksan. Lithium is very explosive na. No? Kaya nga yung Samsung cellphone dati sumasabog. No? Lithium kasi nandun. Anyway, so yan. So this is our electrochemical cell. By convention, all the anode reactions are written on the left. And all the cathode reactions are written on the right. No? Ito yung convention. This is how we uh, show the voltaic diagram. No? On the left side, then dito yung anode. On the right side, then dito yung cathode. And in between them, you have your salt bridge, no? Okay. So, ano yung mnemonic ko dito sa diagram? 
Um, this is voltaic diagram or galvanic diagram. Okay. So, ano yung mnemonic ko sa diagram? A, B, C. A on the left, B in the middle, C on the right. No? So, sa A, ito yung anode. Yung B, ito yung bridge. And yung C, ito yung cathode. No? So, typically, nasa left side yung anode, nasa right side yung cathode. No? Nasa left side yung oxidation, nasa right side yung cut, uh, reduction. Kaya nga sabi ko sa inyo, itong side na to, ito yung oxidation. Yung right side, ito yung reduction. Okay? So, yun lang. Hindi ko lang kung naririnig niyo yung ano. <laughs> Tumutunog. Anyway, so ganun ha. This is the cell diagram or the voltaic diagram. On the left side, you have your anode. On the right side, you have your cathode. In the middle, you have your salt bridge. No? Which maintains the electrical neutrality. And then yung electron magta-travel from here going to there. Okay? So yan yung flow ng electron from this side to the other side. Okay? So from this to the other, may voltage yan. Okay? So there's a shorthand way of designating voltaic cells. Or itong diagram na to. It can be written as this. No? Anode, double line, cathode. No? Ano meaning lang double line? Bridge. Okay? So, ABC pa rin yan. Anode, cathode, bridge. Now, instead of withdrawing mo to, pwede mong gawin ganito na lang. Cell notation tawag dito. Okay? So, in the cell notation, you can write the reaction as this. No? Anode, bridge, cathode. Instead na i-drawing mo to. Okay? So, for example, ito isang example. You have your copper... Copper 2 plus on the anode. You have your silver plus silver on the cathode. No? So, ibig sabihin nun, nasa left side ng iyong beaker yung copper, nasa right side yung silver. And in the middle, you have your salt bridge. Okay? So, paano ko i-convert itong cell notation into equation? Paano ko kaya gagawin yun? Madali lang. Okay? So, remember... Yung nasa left side ng cell notation, ito yung anode. Anode yan, no? Then, ito yung cathode. Or ito yung oxidation, yun yung reduction. So, paano mo malalaman yung reaction dito? O, ganito lang gagawin mo. This is the left side, this is the right side of the reaction. No? Pwede lagyan mo lang, lang sila ng arrow in the middle. So, you can write it as this. Yan yung anode reaction mo. Copper to copper to plus. Na. Lagyan mo lang ng arrow, left to right. Yan yung nangyayari sa anode mo. O sa cathode, ano nangyayari sa cathode mo? Ganun din. Mag-draw ka lang ng arrow, pointing to the right. So, what happens in your cathode is yung silver, it is reduced to silver. Silver ion to silver. Okay? So, yan yung nangyayari sa anode and the cathode when we use the cell notation. Gagawin mo lang, you just write an arrow pointing to the right. Okay? Or you can combine this. This is the anode. This is the cathode. This is the equation. Hindi nga lang balanced. Okay? So this is unbalanced. Nakalimutan ko i-balance. Okay? So pwede mo pagsamahin yan. This is the anode. This is the cathode. Combine them. Then you will have your balanced equation. Okay? A practice tayo. So, I have the following set of cell notation. Uh, alamin natin yung equation out of this. No? So, again, sabi ko nga sa inyo, yung double line, this is the bridge. Okay? Ibig sabihin, anything on the left is the anode. Anode. Anything on the right is the cathode. Okay? Or the reduction. Okay? So, ano gagawin mo? How will you determine the reaction in the anode? Basically, all you have to do is to write an arrow pointing to the right. No? J just write an arrow pointing to the right. Okay? Ayan. So, ibig sabihin, the reaction happening at the anode is tellurium to tellurium plus. Ayan yung reaction sa anode. For the cathode, ang reaction ay ano? Adi from tin to plus to tin. Okay? Basically, lalagyan mo na ng arrow. 
left to right, left to right. Okay? So, yun na yung reaction. And ano na lang gagawin mo? Eh, i-balance mo yan. Ha? Balance natin. This is one electron. Ay, yeah. One electron. It's two electron. Okay? O combine them will give you the final equation. SN2 plus 2 tellurium producing 2 tellurium plus and tin. So that is the balanced equation from this. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me. Malikabok dito. Anyway, <laughs> sorry for that. Ayan na. Ganun lang, no? In order to convert the cell notation into chemical equations, basically, lagyan mo lang ng arrow, no? Sa anode, left to right yan. Sa cathode, ganun din, left to right. You balance this, you balance this, then you can combine them. Just like what we did earlier. Okay? So, ganun lang. O, practice pa tayo ng isa pa. Practice pa. O, ito na sa baba. Again, yung double line, meaning yan, salt bridge. So, anything on the left is your anode. Anything on the right is your cathode. No? So, you write an arrow, write an arrow. So, your anode reaction is zinc 2, zinc 2 plus. Oh, balance that. Yan. May two electrons ka na. On the right side, any equation mo? Fe3 plus to Fe2 plus. Siguro magtataka kayo, no? Ano po yung ginagawa ng PT? PT. Platinum. Ano ginagawa niyang platinum na yan? Wala. Catalyst lang yan. Okay. Catalyst lang yan. Okay. Pag may nakita kayong PT, huwag niyo pansinin. Okay. Hindi siya kasama sa reaction kasi siya ay catalyst. No? Catalyst lang yan. Without that, uh, hindi gagana yung reaction. So, yun lang. Catalyst lang yan. Di yung kailangan sa reaction. So, you just disregard it. Okay? Paki-disregard lang siya. Okay? So, this is the anode reaction. Zinc to zinc 2 plus. Left to right. This is the cathode reaction. Fe3 plus to Fe2 plus. Balance mo na lang. Then, write the equation. Combine this and that. Make sure that the electrons are equal. Uh, let's proceed with this one. We have cadmium. We have the bridge here. This is the anode. This is the cathode. Okay, ito yung bridge. Uh, Pagdugto mo yan, uh, left to right, left to right. So in the anode, you have your CD to CD2 plus reaction. Balance mo, lagyan mo ng electron. On the cathode, ganun din. So, H plus to H2, ang reaction, left to right, H plus to H2. O, balance mo na lang yan. And then, you can combine them, okay? So, ganun lang. O, hindi ko na i-combine, ha? I, I will leave that to you for uh, as your practice na lang. So, whenever you see a cell notation, recognize mo yung salt bridge, dalawang line yan, Okay? Ibig anything on the left is your anode reaction or your oxidation reaction. Anything on the right is your cathode reaction or the reduction reaction. So, to write the anode reaction, that's left to right, no? Tl to Tl plus, zinc to zinc 2 plus, Cd to Cd2 plus. Okay. Yun yung anode reaction. Left to right yung basa. Tl to Tl2 plus, zinc to zinc 2 plus, Cd to Cd2 plus. Yun yung anode. Then, ikaw na bahala magbalance sa electrons. On the right side, ganun din, no? So, this is your cathode, reduct uh, cathode reaction or reduction. So, left to right yung basa dyan. Tin 2 plus to tin. Iron 3 plus to iron 2 plus. H plus to H2. Okay? So, ganun yung basa, left to right. Then, ikaw na bahala mag-balance, which I will leave to you as your activity na lang. Okay? Magbibigay pa ako ng ano, uh, additional problems dito. Okay. So, ano ba itsura ng platinum? Diba sabi ko catalyst yan? Yes, catalyst yan. Ito itsura nun. Okay. Ito yung platinum. Ayan. So, this is the platinum. So, this reaction is the ano, H2 to H plus naman. 
it requires platinum. Okay? So, ano yung purpose ng platinum? Catalyst, no? Kasi without platinum, the reaction will not happen. So, ano ba mangyayari dito? Yung hydrogen gas kasi, if you feed mo yan dito, in this special container, and then yung ions mo, yung electrons, matatransfer via this wire. Okay? Itong wire na to yung magtatransfer ng electrons. Okay? Without the wire, without the platinum wire, hindi gagana yung reaction. Okay? So, yun lang. You need platinum. And that's some metal wire. Siguro yung may ask, no? but but kailangan platinum? Hindi ba pwede aluminum? Hindi. Okay? Kasi yung mga metals na yun, they react. No? Platinum is inert. No? Meaning ng inert ay hindi siya nagre-react. Okay? So, mag-redox, redox ka doon, hindi siya ganun ka-reactive, no? Wala siyang pake, generally. Ang goal niya lang is to transfer electrons. Kaya, yun yung ginagamit natin. Okay? So, again, when you ever you see PT, ibig sabihin nun, catalyst lang sila. Ito yung itsura nila in reality. Yan. So, they serve as to uh, transfer electrons. No? So, sila yung taga-transfer ng electrons. But they are not involved in the reaction. Okay? Uh, sometimes we have the we have this cell notation. We indicate the pressure and the concentration sometimes. No? So for example, we have this zinc to zinc 2 plus 1 molar. Ibig sabihin ang concentration nito ay 1 molar. Okay? Ito, H, H plus to H2. Ang concentration niya nito ay 1 molar, 1 atm. Okay? So sometimes ganyan yan. Minsan naman ganito yung nakalagay. Minsan, minsan. 0 0.5 H plus Okay. So, yan. So, ano yung purpose na ito? We have to indicate the concentration and the pressure. Sometimes, no? Okay? So, sometimes, we have to indicate them para mas maganda yung experiment natin, mas detailed ang ginagawa natin sa lab. Okay? So, take note that when the concentration and the pressure is equal to 1, then that is called a standard state. No? Kapag 1 yung concentration, pati yung pressure, standard yan. Standard state. No? Okay, ibig sabihin yan, yung cell potential natin ay may circle sa taas, inat. No? Pag hindi siya 1 molar, for example, this one, this one, this one, non-standard yan. Okay. So, parang yung energy lang natin, di ba? May standard energy, may non-standard energy. So, yan. Bumabalik na ulit tayo sa energy, na. Okay. So, ganun. Kapag standard, always 1 molar, 1 atm. Pag non-standard, non any other uh, values, no? Except 1. Okay? So, ngayon, punta tayo sa pag-determine ng cell potential. Okay? Kasi sabi natin, battery itong mga to, no? So, these are all battery. Okay, for example, this is, ano, this is MG, uh, if I'm not mistaken, this is magnesium, magnesium 2 plus, and this is copper, 2 plus copper electrode, no? So, ito yung nangyari dito, ito yung magnesium oxidation, and dito yung copper reduction. So, mapapansin mo, may voltage reading yan, no? May voltage reading yan. You can actually determine kung gano'ng karaming voltahe pwede niya mag-produce. No? You can determine that using this equation, the standard potential equation. Okay? So, ano muna yung standard potential or cell potential? So, this is a measure of the flow of electron, aka the voltage of the reaction. Okay? The voltage no, or the flow of the electron. Okay? So, yun yung standard potential. It determines the, ano, the voltage that the reaction produces. Okay? And to solve for the voltage of the solution, that is calculated as the cathode potential minus the anode potential. Okay? So, cathode potential minus the anode potential. And ito sa table na to, in-upload ko to sa canvas, no? So, on this table, we have the cell potentials written here. All you have to do is to plug in these values. 
pa-plugin mo lang yung lahat ng yan dito. Important na lang na malaman mo sino yung cathode, sino yung anode, depending on how the reaction is written. Okay? So, by subtracting them, you will get the E cell, the cell potential. If the E cell is positive, then you have a voltaic cell. Ibig sabihin, it generates kuryente, electricity. If that is negative, then you have an electrolytic cell. Ah, hindi siya nag-generate ng electricity. Okay? So, yung battery natin, positive yung E cell nun. Okay? Positive E cell nyan. Kaya nga kapag ako ginagawa ko ito ng bata, pag dinidilaan ko yung battery, nagtitingling-tingling sensation siya dun. <laughs> Kasi nga, kinukuryente niya ako. Okay. So, it produces voltage. Pero wag niyo gawin yun na, na dugyutin lang talaga tayo. Ayun ang bata. <laughs> Bad yun. Anyway. So, kunwari, I, I ask you, what is the E cell of this one? What is the cell potential? What is the voltage of the reaction? Zinc to zinc 2 plus, copper to copper 2 plus. Okay. So, ano daw voltahe niyan? O, ganito lang. Identify mo sino yung cathode, sino yung anode. Kasi important yun. Okay? So again, this is ABC. Anode, cat, uh, anode bridge cathode. No? So ito anode mo. Ito yung cathode mo. So in the anode, you have the reaction zinc to zinc 2 plus. In your cathode, you have the reaction copper 2 plus to copper. Okay? So, this is the ox. This is the red. Okay? So, yan. So, alam mo that your oxidation or your anode is zinc. And you know here also that your copper, copper 2 plus, this is your reduction or your cathode. Na. So, yun lang unang kailangan mo gawin. Alamin mo sino yung, sino yung cathode, sino yung anode. And then you can use now the equation E cell equals to E cathode minus E anode. Na, ano gagawin mo? O, di ba alam ko yung copper dito sa cathode? O, kung ano value ng cell potential niyan, ilalagay ko dyan. O, alam ko yung zinc, ito yung anode ko. So, kung ano man yung cell potential niyan, yun yung lalagay ko dyan. O, ang tanong, ano yung mga cell potential nila? Andito sa table. Okay? So, hanapin natin sa table yung cell potential nila. O, let's look for the cathode, which is copper. So, basically, titingin ka dito sa table, hanapin mo yung copper, copper 2 plus. Okay? Hanapin mo yung copper, copper 2 plus reaction. It doesn't matter kung baliktad o hindi. Okay? So, hanapin mo yung copper, copper 2 plus. Okay? It doesn't matter kung baliktad o hindi. Okay? So, hanapin mo dyan, asan yung copper? Um, na ito nakakaduling. At, ay, hindi ito. Copper to copper plus. Ah, ito. Ay, nakita ko na. Oopsie. Ah, looking at the table, ang cell potential daw ng copper to plus copper ay 0 0.34. Okay? So, ibig sabihin ito ay 0 0.34 volts positive. Okay? So, hanapin mo lang sa table. Kaya madali lang itong part na to. So, alamin mo lang sino yung anode, sino yung cathode. Hanapin mo yung potential value nila. Then, saka mo ipa-plug in yun dito. O for copper, yun nakita ko, 0.34 positive volts yung unit. O sa anode, zinc to zinc 2 plus yan. O, tingin tayo uli sa table. Hanapin yung zinc to zinc 2 plus. It doesn't matter kung baliktad o hindi. Yan. So, ito yung zinc, zinc 2 plus. No? Zinc, zinc 2 plus. Kahit baliktad yun o hindi, okay lang. Okay? <laughs> so, that's zinc, zinc 2 plus. So, that's negative 0.76 volts daw. Okay? Yan. So, ganun lang gagawin mo. From the reaction, you identify sino yung anode, sino yung cathode. Then, hanapin mo yung potential value niya dito sa table. Be careful kasi may mga similar ions dyan, no? So, tignan mo maigi kung zinc-zinc 2 plus ba talaga yan. 
copper 2 plus copper ba yan, no? Okay. Kasi baka mamaya, copper 2 plus copper 1, iba value nun, okay? So, tignan maigi. Huwag nyo pansinin kung baliktad o hindi. Okay lang yun. Basta malaman nyo kung ano yung anode, ano yung cathode, ano yung value niya. Okay? So, yan. So, ayan. Pag nakita mo na yung mga cell potential nila, saka mo i-plug in dito. Okay? So, paki-plug in. So, we have E cell equals. Uh, for the cathode, sabi na sa table, 0.34 volts daw yun. Minus, o yung anode, 0.76 volts. So, combining them, that will give you 1.10 volts positive. Since positive yung cell potential mo, ibig sabihin ito ay galvanic or voltaic. Ibig sabihin, it produces electricity. Zinc, copper. Kaya nga, mapapansin nyo, sa mga experiment, no, hindi ko lang kung nagawa nyo ito, uh, Yung mga experiment sa YouTube, ginagawa nila may zinc sila, pati may copper sila. Itutusok nila sa lemon, tas gagana yung bumbilya, yung LED light. Uh, bakit gumagana yung Kasi the easel is positive, no? So, nangyari, yung zinc na tinusok mo sa lemon, na-oxidize siya. Yung copper na tinusok mo sa lemon, na-reduce siya. Okay? So, pag tinusok mo yung pareha sa ano lemon, Tapos kinunek mo yun using, uh, ba, ano, using LED light. Liliwanag talaga yun. Kasi positive yung e-cell niya. Okay? So, hanap lang kayo ng 1 volt na bat, ano, 1 volt na LED light. Tapos i-connect mo yun doon. Gagana yun. Uh, you can try that at home. Uh, yung copper, madali lang maghanap niya, no? Hanap ka lang ng mga electrical wire sa bahay. No? Pero syempre, hindi na nakakonekta sa kuryente. Mga wire wire lang na extra. Yung zinc, medyo mahirap to hanapin eh. Okay. Pero yun, ito yung reason bakit pag tinusok mo yung lemon ng zinc pati ng copper, umiilaw siya. Kasi nga positive yung e-cell. Okay? So yun, you can try that at home if you have the resources. Ako hindi ko siya magawa kasi wala akong resources. Okay? Uh, let's try this one naman. Uh, ito reaction naman to. Okay? So this reaction... So, hindi na siya cell potential. So, medyo mahirap hanapin dito yung ano. Medyo mahirap hanapin yung oxidation, pati reduction dito. Okay? So, pero I can use the ano na lang. I can use the oxidation number para mas mabadali. Ito, oxidation number na ito, 0. Ito, positive 1. Oxidation number na ito, 0. Ito, positive 1. Okay. So, ito. 1 to 0, ibig sabihin reduction yan. Ito yung aking cathode. Okay. This one, 0 to positive 1, oxidation yan. Ito yung aking anode. Okay. So kahit di mo na i-balance, no? alamin mo na lang sino yung anode, sino yung cathode, sino yung reduction, sino yung oxidation. Kahit di mo na i-balance, lalo na kapag di naman kailangan. Okay. Hanapin mo na lang yung kanilang ano. You can use the oxidation number para mas mabilis. Okay? Uh, use the equation, E not cell equals E not cathode minus E not anode. Okay? Uh, yung cathode, hanapin mo. Ang cathode mo ay yung Hg2. Uh, yung cathode ko ay yung Hg2 2 plus Hg. Ang anode ko ay H2 to H+. Plus. Okay? So, hanapin natin yun sa table. <laughs> hanapin yung mercury, mercury. Um, ito yung mahirap. Ah, ito yung H, H2. Oh, zero volt daw yan. Ang sulat ko na dito. Zero volt. Ayan na. Naka-red naka yung H2, H plus H2. Zero volt siya. Siya kasi yung basis. Ngayon, hanapin na lang natin yung mercury. Mercury. Ngayon, ito. So, mercury 2, 2 plus mercury. Uh, take note na dapat yung inyong ions ay in correct form, ha? 
Kasi ito, nasa taas, HG2+. Plus. Itong nasa baba, HG2+, plus, tas may 2 sa baba. Yun yung kailangan natin kasi yun yung sabi sa equation eh. HG2, 2 plus. Okay? So, yan. So, ano sabi nun? 0.85 volts. Positive. Nilagyan ko pa ng positive yung 0. 0 nga. <laughs> anyway. So, yan. So, alam na natin that this potential, yung HG2, 2 plus to HG, 0.85 yun, sabi dito. Ang H2, H plus naman, sabi dito, 0 volts yon. Kaya pag subtract mo na lang, so this minus that, so that is 0 0.85 volts, positive pa rin. Ibig sabihin, it will generate electricity. Okay, magpaproduce ng kuryente yan. But please don't do it kasi mercury yan, it is toxic. Uh, some more exercise, uh, some more practice ng baguhay and yung class. Mga 12.30 end ko na yung discussion natin na para makakain na ako. <laughs> so, ito, uh, your uh, Fe2 plus to F, uh, Fe2 plus Al, Fe, Al3 plus. Oh, you can use oxidation numbers na dito. Ano? This is positive 2, this is 0, this is 0, this is positive 3. As you can see, yung iron from 2 naging 0. So, ito ay reduction or cathode. Ang um, aluminum from zero naging positive three. So, this is your oxidation or your anode. Okay? Okay. And so, alam mo na kung sino yung anode, sino yung cathode, then you can now determine the E cell. Okay? So, ayan. O, oh, cathode. Uh, ang cathode ay... Iron, no? Ang anode ay aluminum. Okay? So, Fe2 plus Fe. Ginagawa ko yung para malaman ko lang kung ano yung ilalagay ko. <laughs> Fe, ano yun? Fe2 plus, diba? Fe. Okay, ito. And for the iron, that's negative 0.44 volts. So, ito negative 0.44 volts. O yung aluminum, aluminum, o ito. Negative 1.66 volts. Okay. So, for iron, sabi sa table, negative 0.44 volts. Sa aluminum, negative 1.66 volts. Plug in mo yan dito. So, that will look like this. Negative 0.44 minus negative 1.66. Uh, subtract mo sila. Hindi ah, ko na kaya i-mental yan. <laughs> Ikakalkyo ko na. So, 0.44, negative 0.44 minus negative 1.66. So, that's positive 1.22 volts. Oh, positive pa rin yung e-cell. Ibig sabihin, it can produce electricity. Okay? Ano, pwede gawin mo. Ito, mas madali itong gawin sa bahay. Hanap kayo ng iron, hanap ka ng aluminum wire, pati iron, itusok mo yun sa, ano, lemon. Oh, kaya kung walang lemon, edi ano, edi dalandan. <laughs> pwede yung gawin sa bahay, no? Try nyo. O yung iron, back. yung pako, pwede. Pako, tapos aluminum foil. Itusok nyo yun sa ano, dalandan. I-connect mo yung ano, connect mo yung LED light. Make sure na 1 volt lang ang LED light para sapat yung energy na, ma na meron tayo. Kasi may LED light na 5 volts, merong LED light na 2 volts, no? 2.5 volts. Ang gusto mo ay yung 1 volt lang para umilaw siya. You can do that at home na. So, yung iron, hanap ka lang ng pako, iron yun. Uh, aluminum, kuha ka ng uh, aluminum foil. Ayan. Pagdugtungin mo yon sa dalandan, ayan. Iilaw yan. Bakit dalandan, no? Para may ion. <laughs> Para may ion. Acidic yun eh. May H plus dun. So, yung ions dun sa solution na yun, it can help to um, to make the 
uh, to allow the electrochemical reaction to happen. Okay. So, you can try this at home na. Okay. So, yun lang. O, yung iba, o, kayo na bahala siguro dito. <laughs> Find the E-cell of this. O, uh, balance this. Then, solve for E-cell. Lagay nyo na lang yan sa probset, ha? Ang probset yan. <laughs> o, kayo na bahala dyan. Okay. So, pakibalance, then, isolve yung E-cell. Same as this one, balance. Then, solve for E-cell. Ah, uh, ito, saka na natin discuss yan. Okay? So, saka na natin discuss tong energy. Okay? Basta yun lang, yung cell potential lang muna for now. Okay? So, that that will be all for our discussion this day. Na. So, basically, dinagdagan lang natin yung knowledge natin sa battery. Kung nakaraan, marunong lang tayo mag-balance. Ngayon, marunong na tayo mag-solve ng cell potential. Okay. Marunong na tayo mag-solve ng voltage. Kaya mapapansin mo yung mga battery natin. Teka, kuha lang ako. Hindi ko makita yung battery ko ba? <laughs> Uh, anyway, uh, di ba nakita kayo ng battery na kalagay doon? 1.5 volts, no? Everedy, 1.5, no? Ano pa? Uh, Duracell, 1.5, 9 volts, no? 5.4 volts. So, paano kaya nila nalaman yung voltage na yun? Ito lang, oh. Yan. Sinasold lang yan dito. Okay? So, subtract, subtract lang yan. Then, you will get your voltage. Okay? So, siguro yung may ask, no? Bakit liti yung battery yung ginagamit, no? Sa cellphone natin. Kasi, malakas yung cell potential niya, no? If you make your lithium your anode, uh, I mean your cathode, okay? kapag lithium yung nasa cathode mo, negative 0.305 yung voltage niya. Pero kung siya yung anode, may negative sa harap, tas negative pa yon, hindi magiging positive 3 volts yung battery mo agad, no? Then, pumili ka dito ng mataas yung ano, potential. Kunwari, pagsamahin mo, lithium pati uh, fluorine. Ano yung cell potential nun? Okay, so magiging cell potential nun. Kunwari, yung fluorine yung ano, oxidation mo. I mean, fluorine yung reduction mo. Lithium yung oxidation mo. Okay. So, ito sa anode mo. Ito sa cathode. Ano yung cell potential nun? So, 2.87... Two point eighty seven minus negative three point zero five five volts agad no six volts salos so ganon yung ginagawa ng mga battery manufacturer no they use this table to determine ano yung mga materials na pwede gamitin sa anode ano pwede gamitin sa cathode no para malaman mo kung ano yung maganda yung voltage na magagawa mo okay so yun yung ginagamit nila sa pagdetermine ng voltage ng batteries natin no? So, apparently, yung ating mga cellphone, 5 volts yan, no? Madalas. 5 volts, iba lang yung amperes, no? Okay. So, yun. So, paano nila nalalaman lahat ng mga yun? Andito lang yun sa table. Commonly, ang ginagamit sa battery ay lithium, pati yung cobalt. Okay? Lithium yung anode. Ito yung oxidation. Cobalt yung reduction. Pag kunin mo cell potential niyan, so, yung cobalt, 1.82. Yung anode, uh, yung lithium ay 3.05. Oh, 4.87 volts. E di ba yung nasa battery natin, 5 volts. So, medyo malapit yung value. Di ba? Oh, yun yung ginagawa nila. Okay? So, yun. You can explore more on this. no uh, Alam ko, civil and kayo. Pero malay nyo, no? Uh, kayo kasi yung naka task, no? Kayo yung naka-assign sa storage ng battery. Kayo yung magagawa ng dams. Kayo yung gagawa ng ano. Kasama nyo yung mga electrical engineer sa paggawa ng power grid, no? Tandem kayo nun, eh. Aaralin nyo yan in the future, no? Kaya maganda na yung may knowledge kayo sa Chem4Eng neto kung paano mag-solve ng e-cell. At least in the future, malay nyo, makagawa kayo ng battery better than ano, what we have ngayon. <laughs> So, yung kasing 
research ngayon sa batteries no to create batteries that can uh, hold electricity no mas malaking electricity yung kaya i-hold yun yung target nila yun yung ginagawa nila sa Tesla ngayon no yung kay kay Elon Musk yung company niya so they have this research uh, study about batteries no about energy storage no sabi nila the future of cars is electric cars no electric vehicles no EVs ayun so para mas maging feasible yon they have to have a better battery kaya yan inaaral nila yan and all of that no lahat ng yon ang basics lang noon ay electrochem Uh, ayan, ngayon, marunong na kayo mag-solve ng isel, ha? Uh, so, ibig sabihin, kayo nyo na gumawa ng battery. Nasa one step ahead na kayo, papunta sa paggawa ng battery in the future. So, sana in the future, merong mag-research sa inyo na ganyan, ha? Kasi ako, to be honest, ito yung gusto ko aralin sa masters, no? ito yung gusto ko i-thesis battery. Uh, tatry ko lang gumawa ng biodegradable battery. <laughs> Kasi yung batteries natin, medyo delikado yan, no? Hindi siya agad na sisira. No? Uh, medyo toxic yung chemicals niyan. Uh, ako, in, ang iniisip ko for my thesis is siya yun. Pero I don't know, no? Tatanong ko pa yung advisor <laughs> kung pwede yung research ko. Pag okay, edi a-update ko kayo in the future. So, yan. So, that will be all. Uh, take note of the prob sets, no? We will continue this next meeting. Uh, by the way, next week, no, uh, let me just remind you again na uh, next week ay ano ako, uh, asynchronous. No? Kasi ako ay may exams <laughs> sa Lasal. No? So, the entire week yung exam namin. Kaya, ayun. So, asynchronous na lang ako. Pag hindi ako nakapag-upload, ibig sabihin, patay na ako sa stress. No? <laughs> hindi, buhay pa ako, pero na stress na ako. <laughs> Pag hindi ako na pag upload ibig sabihin noon baka yung following week yun yung gamitin natin. Okay? Yung June 7 to 12. Baka doon na lang ako mag-discuss. Kasi starting May 31, actually starting mamaya may may ano kami, may meeting kami sa Lasal. Wala, iiyak na lang ako ulit. Basta ganun, mag-update na lang ako kung <laughs> may video na tayo for the discussion. Okay? Basta yun lang. So, again, um, with this knowledge, you can have an idea na on how batteries work. Marunong na kayo mag-solve ng cell potential. And then later on, we will discuss about uh, uh, energetics, no? Yung thermodynamic values niya. Okay? So, that will be all. And I'll see you again next meeting. Okay, so thank you and stay safe and please get vaccinated. So, bye-bye. Ingat parate. Thank you po, sir. Okay, ingat. Bye-bye. Thank you po, sir.